In life, we all encounter obstacles, and those obstacles come in all different shapes, sizes, and forms. The question is, how do we handle those obstacles? Do we attack them head on, or do we allow them to make us quit? Welcome to the No Quit Living Podcast, where we aim to motivate and inspire listeners to never give up on themselves, their dreams, or their goals. We will interview successful people from all walks of life as they share their no quit stories when they had the choice to give up or give in, but they didn't. We thank you for listening, and we hope to be that jolt of positivity as you go for your greatness. Welcome to episode number 147 of the No Quit Living Podcast. I'm your host, Christopher J. Worth, and today's theme of the day is failure. Our quote of the day comes to us from Napoleon Hill. Most great people have attained their greatest success just one step beyond their greatest failure. Today's episode is sponsored by the good people over at West Fair Communications, who publish the Westchester County Business Journal and the Fairfield County Business Journal. These newspapers do a wonderful job in covering all aspects of the business world within two of the most influential markets in the New York metropolitan area. You can also take advantage of their daily news feeds, which keep track on the companies and thought leaders in these important regions. For more information, take a look at www.westfaironline.com. Trust me, once you start reading, you won't quit. I'm honored to bring you today's episode. Today's theme of the day is failure, which is something that I didn't fully understand until only recently. As the host of our podcast, I try and make each episode interesting, educational, and most importantly, thought-provoking. A few weeks ago, I was finishing up a couple of podcast interviews. I looked over my notes, and I realized the importance that failure had played in not only so many guests from our show, but so many incredible successful people that have been quoted on many of our episodes. As I was sending out a couple of interview confirmation emails to future guests, I happened to look up at a Zig Ziglar quote that hit me like a ton of bricks. Failure is an event, not a person. Something that I often speak about, not only on our podcast, but at many of our live speaking events, is the concept or idea that in life we all encounter obstacles, challenges, and we all get knocked down. Not only do I often say that, and I will continue to say it, but I fully believe it. In life, it's not about getting knocked down. It's all about getting back up. But up until recently, I hadn't really thought about the role that failure has played in the lives of some of the most successful people that I look up to and how significant failure has been to their success. I actually question and can honestly wonder if these people hadn't failed, would I even know their names? As I just recently turned 40 years old and as we are approaching our 150th episode, on today's show, I hope I can challenge you to look at the role failure has played on your life as well as the lives of other people you either respect or in many ways look up to. During my 40th birthday weekend, I made a conscious effort to stay off of social media for three full days. For over 72 hours, I didn't once log on to Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or Twitter. I challenged myself to see if I could do it. Instead, I read, listened to, and found quite a few inspirational videos on YouTube. One of those videos that I watched five different times was a video that featured Denzel Washington, who was speaking at a college graduation. I wanted to quote a few things that he said in no particular order that really and truly stood out to me. Fail big. You only live once. Take chances. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to dream, but dreams without goals are just dreams. Hard work works. Working really hard is what successful people do. Each one, teach one. Don't aspire to make a living aspire to make a difference. And one thing in particular that he said absolutely knocked me off my feet. He said to fail forward. Fail big, but fail forward. As I finished watching this video, it made me really think. I decided to look up and do some research on successful people that have also failed in life. As many of our listeners know, I am a huge Michael Jordan fan, and he has been one of my idols since the mid-1980s. To follow up with our theme today, I wanted to read a very famous Michael Jordan quote that hangs on my office as well as in my home. I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. Michael Jordan is 6-0 in NBA championships. He's multiple NBA champion, MVP, And I think the best thing that stands out about this quote is it talks about, and he talks about all his failures and how they didn't make him become a failure, but they led him to be considered one of, if not the greatest basketball players of all time. 
Thomas Edison, who was created with not only inventing a light bulb, but so many other incredible successful things throughout his life. He has a quote that I absolutely love. I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. For many of our listeners who are baseball fans and or fans of the New York Yankees, you're probably familiar with the name Reggie Jackson. Nicknamed Mr. October due to his incredible successes throughout his postseason career, I would like to share a couple of very interesting statistics that I found about Reggie Jackson. During his major league career, Reggie Jackson hit 563 career home runs, and he was a 14-time All-Star. Reggie Jackson won three Major League Baseball championships with the Oakland Athletics and two with the New York Yankees. In 2018, today, Reggie Jackson still holds another record. He has struck out more times than any other major leaguer in the history of Major League Baseball with 2,597 career strikeouts. But that is not what Reggie Jackson is remembered for. He is not known as Mr. Strikeout, but instead he is remembered as a five-time World Series champion, a 14-time All-Star, and still is remembered as Mr. October. One of my mentors and someone that I've had the absolute incredible fortune of being coached by is a gentleman by the name of John C. Maxwell, and he has a tremendous quote on failure. Failing forward is the ability to get back up after you've been knocked down, learn from your mistake, and move forward in a better direction. As we wrap up today's episode, I want to share one more great Zig Ziglar quote with you. If you learn from defeat, you haven't really lost. So my question to you today is very simple. How do you look at defeat? How do you think about the failures that you have experienced and encountered in your life? As I mentioned early, it wasn't until very recently where my perspective on failure totally and completely changed. I finally realized the role that failure has and will continue to play in my own personal life as well as my career. I challenge each and every one of you to re-examine failure and the role it has played in your life and it will continue to play. Instead of looking at or approaching failure as a negative to you personally, flip the script and accept failure as a growth teacher. Whether you have failed on a court, on a field, in business, in a relationship, in public or in private. No longer dwell, look at, or accept you being a failure. Instead, remember what Zig Ziglar said, failure is an event, not a person. So when you experience your next failure, embrace it. Don't expect it or want it, but if and when it does come, fully embrace it, learn from it, and become the best version of yourself as you go for your greatness. And lastly, to our listeners, thank you. We truly appreciate your time. And we hope our episodes inspire you to keep on attacking life and never giving up. To quote Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, it's always too early to quit.